church family and friends, we welcome you to the service this morning. We pray that the word of God that you hear this morning will cause your faith to soar to new levels. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for a new day, God. We thank you for the very breath of life that you saw fit to give us this morning, God. We come boldly this morning into this place prepared to worship you, God. To worship you in spirit and in truth, God. We thank you this morning, Father, for the set man of God. We thank you, Father, for the set woman of God over this house. We pray, Father, that they will continue, Father, to put their hands to the plow and to never look back, God. We thank you this morning, Father, for the praise team and the song that you put on their hearts, Lord Jesus, that will take us and lead us right into your very presence this morning, God. We pray, Father. We pray for those, Lord God, who are on their sick beds this morning, God. We pray, Father, that you will get right up into their ear and remind them that you're the chief physician, God, that you're a healer, God, that they're healed in the mighty name of Jesus, God, that every tissue and every organ, God, will perform and work just as you created it to do so, God. We thank you, Father, that you are the battle of tears this morning, Father. You see those, God, who are hurting, those who have lost a loved one this morning, God. We pray, Father, that you would comfort them with the love of Christ like only you can, God. We thank you, Lord God, that this word, this word, Father, that will find the fertile soil of our hearts, God. We pray, Father, that not one word will fall by the wayside, God, but that it will cause us to go and to grow, God, and to walk out the journey, God, that you plan for our lives individually and corporately. I lift this very prayer before you, Father, in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory to your name. Glory, glory, glory. It's time to give the Lord some praise, church. He is worthy. He is worthy to be praised. That's why we lift our hands to you, Father. That's why we give the Lord a shout of glory. You are so awesome, Father. And for that, we say thank you, Father. This is the day that the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Hey. You are here. Moving in our midst. I worship you. 
Yeah. 
said it, but believe it if you said it.
live and move, Father. It is you who I live and move, Father. You have the final say, God. I am who you say I am. It doesn't matter what the rest of the world thinks. It doesn't matter what the rest of the world says, God. You are the author and the finisher of my faith, Father. I am who I say I am. Church, give the Lord some praise in this place. He is worthy. He is worthy. No matter what the situation might look like, no matter what the circumstance looks like, we are still here. Hallelujah. Then the pandemic tried to take us out. Coronavirus tried to take us out. Hatred tried to take us out. But guess what, church? We are still here. Because we have the victory. Hallelujah.
they didn't have to do that. See, I made it, I made it, I made it. I made it through time. Another yeah. day turning. God kept me here. Come on, y'all, let's sing the verse, y'all. Let's say, listen. See, I made, I made it. The struggle and the pain, y'all. I made it. People turn their backs on me. I'm still here. Tears in my eyes.
this is the time that for every ambitionist goal that you wanted to have, every idea that you wanted to start, every business that you wanted to create, here's your time with no distractions. I said, so what, what, what does that mean? It means that I'm not going to give you an excuse to why you can't succeed with the plans that I already have for you. I said, okay. So this message is not so morally for you all, it's more so for me. So if you hear me get excited, just don't mind me. That's how I praise it. So I tried to start a clothing line. Do you know it's the key word that I used in that? Ah. And see, that's why a lot of us don't succeed in, in the ideas that we, we, we come up with because we always put the I in front of the G. You got me? Because it's, a, it's an idea that you created, but you won't let God execute it. Because you're so quick to keep your eye. I did this. I started this. But where you going to have God come and bless it? So now, that's why I want to take you to Genesis chapter 1. Brian, you can give me a thumbs up when it's on the screen. It's very simple. Everybody know in the beginning, God created the heavens and earth. Okay. So now let's go to verse 2. This is how quick you can get confused. In verse 1, it say, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Everybody's having a good time. In verse 2, then it say, the earth was without form and void. That don't make sense how you created something and all of a sudden a situation came up. But if you just take the time to read that whole verse, that whole chapter, it took God, let me see, because it's about to get real in a minute. It took God from verse 2 to verse 22 to say the word blessed for the first time. Think about that. God did all the creating he did from verse 1 all the way to verse 22. Then he said, and God blessed them. So now, let's go back to your life. Let's go back to when I said the church was closed. This is what I want to do. This caution tape on, right? Because when I say the church was closed, some people believed it and the other believers didn't believe it. Because the Bible says, who is the church? So if you allow God to do what God does, it takes him 22 verses, I mean 20 verses from verse 2 to bless. So just put yourself in a situation in verse 10, whatever that verse is. That might be the reason why stuff isn't starting for you. But I believe that right now if you speak to that thing, it will come to life. It will come to pass because I think right now it's winning season for everybody. I mean some people benefiting from COVID-19, some people not. But I think everybody's getting the blessing out of it. You know, like, 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 whew. it's like, I can't stand when a person gives up. I mean, I, I work in D.C. and I see, I see homeless people everywhere and I just can't imagine where the stumble happened. Like, it's so much in so many ways to find refuge. Like, when you say the word give up, to me, it's just like saying you don't trust God. It's like when you say, I'm about to quit, it's like you don't trust God. It's like when you say things like, I'm confused, now I believe that you got a, 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 an opportunity to grow but at least you admitting the failure and the fault but when you just say I give up that means you don't have no hope but 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 in, in Hebrews it says now faith is the substance so in reality to what I really want to say and this caution tape was just to make a warning to people to just let them know that 
it is a God out here that we serve, that we can praise anytime, anywhere, any place, anytime, and just give him some praise up in here. You know what I mean? So, so it's like, hey, Earl, do me a favor. Let T get on the keyboard for a second. Because I'm sorry, T, I got to put you in my message. That's why I wanted you to stay at church. Sorry. Because I got a story, and then I'm going I'm to I'm say this story, and then we're going to get up out of here. So, I was reading um, about the story of Lazarus, right? And it was Martha. And I'm going to say it in the millennial version. Um, because y'all know the King James give you the proper. But the millennial version, because there's nothing but millennials. Like, hey, Danny. So it's like Martha, she called Jesus. And Jesus answered, and she said, hey, your friend, Lazarus, he's sick. Jesus was chilling. I'm just telling y'all this, how I received it. Jesus chilling. All right, Martha, I got you. I'll come through. Four days later, Jesus show up. Martha say, Jesus, I called you four days ago, five days ago. You ain't, you ain't, you said you was coming. You didn't come. I, I FaceTimed you. I DM'd you. You said you, you didn't answer. Jesus said, now Lazarus dead. Jesus looked at her and said, okay. All right. Well, you know, in, in, in the Bible, we go from glory to glory to faith to faith, right? So when he told her, uh, 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 Lazarus dead, Jesus, Jesus was cool. You know, I think Jesus had a whole lot of swag back there. <laughs> All right, chill. Take me to where he at. See, T, I need that organ in a second because it's about to get real. So, when Jesus asked Martha to take him to where they laid Lazarus at, Jesus walked over there. He said, oh, there we at? Okay. Now, see, I'm going somewhere with this now. When Jesus looked at that grave, he told Martha, I know you called. I saw every time you FaceTime. I saw every time you DM, DM me. But one thing I want you to understand that see, you, you knew me on a healer level. So now that I'm at this tomb, you didn't know that I'm the resurrection. I'm the giver of life. So he told the people, in the, 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 the men around him, pick him up, take him out of the tomb. See, because what we got to understand is God is always ready to give us another step. You might know him on one level, but he's ready to reveal something else good to you. See, he said, you knew me as a healer. That's why I didn't come. But I wanted to tell you that I'm the giver of life. I can raise a man up from the dead. You got to understand, so, so when your ideas don't work the way you want them to work, you got to understand that God is waiting to reveal something to you. Hold on, see, it's like this. It's like this, good God Almighty, he just gave it to me. Yeah. Listen, he say, he say this, it's just like a Broadway show. Think about Jesus in the time. It's a Broadway show, right? You go, boom. See, a Broadway show is something that's really, really interesting because all it is is people sitting, looking at a curtain. Right? They don't know what's behind that curtain. See, y'all gonna get happy in a minute. So as you sitting looking at a curtain, the show starts at seven. Come on, T. Listen, it's about to get good. The show starts at seven. It's 6.30. You wait. It's 6.45. You still wait. It's 6.59. The man go over here, hit the button. You're still waiting. At seven o'clock, he don't have to create the atmosphere. The show is already on. It's showtime. You got to understand, God is already sitting behind the curtain waiting to reveal your next blessing. He's sitting behind the curtain ready to take you to the next level. He's sitting behind the curtain waiting to bless you, waiting to bless your kids, waiting to bless every situation you're in. Listen, it's very simple. You don't have to expect or wait to 
and let God bless you. He already created you. He knew you before you was born. So all you got to do is look at your eyes now and remove the curtain and let God get the glory out of your life. See, sometimes your curtain just closed. You don't know. Let, you get so frustrated not knowing your next move. You get so frustrated not wondering where your blessing coming from. Listen, you've already been blessed. All you got to do is just get excited and lift your hands and use your weapon. Use your weapon up in here, y'all. Tell God, Lord, I thank you. Lord, you've been so good to me. I know I messed up last week. I know I didn't hit everything that you wanted me to hit. But Lord, I just get down and I praise you. See, the reason why I wanted TJ to get on the drums is because, I mean, the keyboard, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. So listen, listen. <clears throat> Chanel, do me a favor. Zoom in on TJ. One time. Because I want everybody to understand. All right, now you can come back to me. Listen, and T, correct me if I'm wrong. See, when I told you that story about Lazarus, God didn't get that just for me. I needed TJ to hear that. See, because two years ago, he was Lazarus. So God came and visited him in his time of need. See, now zoom back in on him. See, what you looking at Facebook and YouTube, you looking at a man that was shot five times. Huh? The devil thought he had him. Huh? The devil tried to take him out of his identity. The devil said, listen, I got you today. But God stepped in and he said, listen, you knew me as a healer, but I am the resurrection. Take up your bed and walk. And bullshit. You got to understand. It's not what you want. It's what God got for you. It's not your wants. Man, he said, delight your pleasures in me and I will give you the desires of your heart. That's it. I'm sorry, I'm yelling too much. I'm yelling too much. I'm sorry. I mean, I sit there and I saw this man in the hospital bruised all up but you got to think about it when Jesus came to that grave he told him one assignment move the stone move the stone then he told him so if I had to think back in them times when you in the tomb they wrapped you up so I can see Lazarus getting up like this when Jesus raised him up but he told the men you got to think about it. When you a mummy, you got to get unwrapped. You got to get unwrapped before they can see the physical being of you. So what I want you to understand is huh, you might be twisted and turned around in your life right now, but you need somebody to get behind you and pull the string so God can bless you over and over and over again. See, you got to take the, 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 the wrapping up off you because sometimes you can be walking dead Until you ask somebody, tell me who God is. What can he do for me in my life? <laughs> and I tell you like this, <laughs> hold your hands out. Lift up your hands and tell God thank you. But he didn't do nothing yet. <laughs> it's on the way. Because <laughs> he said, behind the curtain, I created you <laughs> for a design purpose <laughs> to give me praise. I created you <laughs> to walk in my glory. <laughs> I created you <laughs> to do on assignment. <laughs> I created you to give me glory. <laughs> I sit at the altar. <laughs> I pray for you <laughs> when you're down. <laughs> I pray for you when you're high. <laughs> I pray for you when you're confused. I pray for you when you don't and out of your right mind. But I come here to tell you today, I am the giver of life. I will bless you. And if you if you don't believe it, it's, it's, it's in the Bible over and over again. You just got to read it. I don't like reading the Bible as much as I have to now because I preach. I ain't know the story of Lazarus. Till God gave it to me. Whew. But I tell you one thing though, and this is for real. In spite, 
I just get happy, y'all. Y'all got to excuse me. Ah, see, that, that's all I need right there. That little bit right there, see? That right there. It's something about when, 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 when they played music. You know, it, 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 done something. it does something to you. It's like if you're sitting down and you hear the, the organ make a noise, your ears are going to respond. And then you hear another line. And then you want to say something to the words of the song. But see, God said, I am the giver of life. And the church is under construction. But I come to tell you today that he will bring any situation into a new thing. I got something in here that he, that he told me. He say, y'all always know my notes be off the chain. Man, it is hot. Unless I've been moving a lot. That's what it is. <laughs> I told Chanel it was going to work. But see, I'm going to say this and then I'm going to close because I know T got on tired of playing that keyboard. I love you, boy. I do, man. So look, we all know that God's a giver of life. We all know that the church is under construction. We all know COVID-19. <clears throat> all right. So look, you know how in life sometimes you're trying to advance, you're trying to get ahead, but you're thinking about what you did. Sometimes that can be the biggest stumbling block to get you to the next level. Like, you got to understand something. God already know what you did and what you're going to do. So if you made a mistake, it's okay. Don't hold that against that blessing that's attached to you advancing. See, because God say, remember, remember not the formal things, neither consider the things of old. I do. Behold. Now, you, you, you Gus, you can get excited. You can, you can go and slap Danny with the high five. Listen what he say. I said, don't let the old and the past stop you from getting to the next level where your blessing is. Remember not the formal things. Neither consider the things of old. Behold, I do a new thing. So, how I received this new thing was this. Eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard. Plans that he got for me. So I want you to look at yourself right now, at your house eating grits or whatever you're doing. Take a picture of yourself and look at yourself. Understand this. The things people said about you that hurt you this year, if that's their best shot, was in 2021, they better take a picture of you because they ain't going to be able to recognize you once God give you what he really got for you. If you thought we couldn't get rid of COVID-19 and try to shut us down, woo, take a picture of me because next year, I'm not going to be looking the same. Next year, I'm going to be looking a little bit different, a whole lot better because I'm going after that new thing. Forget those things of old. Forget what you said about me. Forget how you talked about me. I'm still walking in glory. I still got my wife. But guess what, though? I behold a new thing. And I'm telling you, that's when your business is going to start prospering. That's when things going to happen. Stop dwelling on the old. It's gone. Yesterday gone. You never get it back. Attach yourself to this. Be, babe, we got to write this on the, on the mirror when we get home. Behold, I do a new thing. And see, that new thing attached to the Broadway show. All summed up in one. That's it. The Broadway show. He's waiting to tell you what's next. Open the curtain. Behold, a new marvelous thing. And I'm telling you, yeah, I hooped and hollered and did all that. It's, it's good, but this is the most important part of it. It's because people just get so stuck on, oh, what you did, how you hurt me, how you, look, I'm going after that new thing. 
Ain't they got a song like that, Nate? On a new thing. Ain't that song? Ain't that song? Is it a song? No? Well, we're going to make it a song. Make it a song. Man, on a new thing. But nah, I mean, you just got to be, just be real with yourself. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I made mistakes. I stumbled. I, but I don't think about that. See, because God bigger than any mistake that I can make. God, God, God is bigger than any decision that I just blew it. God is bigger than you lied on me, told people whatever, blah, 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 talk to my back. Because I'm still going after the new thing. Where is that? I'm searching for this new thing. I'm, I'm on an island, but God, I trust you because you said it. You will order my steps. So if you're going after that new thing, man, you're going to have to just, just, just suck it up. I mean, it can't get no worse than 2020. Can't get no worse. I mean, you're doing virtual school. You got to learn how to do virtual school. Kids getting on your nerve. But guess what, though? God got a plan for this. It's something attached to this. And I want to say this before I leave. My father's house. Y'all better go outside and take a picture of that sign. God Almighty. Y'all better go take a picture of that sign and get real close to it. Because in 2021, Pastor Lou just ain't go on, on, on break all of a sudden for, for nothing. Hey, he just came on a meeting and said, hey, look, I'm, I'm going to take a break. But this 2021 is about to be, I do, a new thing. My father's house is about to be, man, I, I, I say right now, in 2021, every seat in here is going to be full. I say right now, in 2021, every Musician is going to be on stage. I decree that we're going to have an awesome praise team. I decree that we're going to have hearts and men with the mind of our pastor. I decree that he's bringing in a new wave of, of, of people that's coming with a smooth, fresh anointing. I, I believe that he's, he's, he's starting to crop up something with a new thing of, of people coming in here with, with spontaneous ideas, crazy ideas. Wow, giving God the glory in everything we do. I think that he's dropping seed on every seat that we cannot see. Behold, he's doing a new thing in my father's house. It don't care what we went through. It don't care how long it took. But guess what? We still here. How, how many people tried to doubt us? How many people said that we'd never be nothing? Guess what? God is about to reveal a new thing right up in here, right before your eyes. You better take a picture of me. You better take a picture of what you see because in 2021, it's going to be bigger. It's going to be crazy. People are going to try to figure out who are they? Where have they been? We still here. We ain't went nowhere. We just getting rid of them things of old. Behold, he's doing a new thing. I'm telling y'all, man, it's, it's real. It's like, I get so excited because I, I just want to wake up in the morning and be like, thank you, Jesus. Just thank you. He didn't tell you how to thank him. That's what you just get so caught up in, in, in how you got to praise him. Lift your hands out. With a little move on them. You know, like me and my man Nate, we having fun at work. First time I ever had fun at work. I mean, you can yell from the back if you want, Nate. This this behold a new thing. We talk every morning about six o'clock. Now I tell you real quick, I started this job in March. We are in September. The boss that hired me is leaving. Can we say next up? Nathaniel Graham. Next up, Nathaniel Graham. But see, if he had a fail or withered, he couldn't behold this new thing. He don't know what's behind that curtain. But see, a lot of people in that situation, because we friends, that's when your haters come. I mean, but he think he like that. No, what you do is, when somebody get blessed in front of you, you go and come here, Nate. Come here, come here, come here, come here. You, Nate, come here. This is what you do. When you, when you, literally, yeah, 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 literally. When you see somebody get blessed, you don't talk about them. Turn around. You, 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 you grab hold of them. Because as he go, I'm going. 
And then, come, come here, Jazz. Come here, Jazz. Come here, Jazz. And see, as they get blessed, grab my shirt. They're going to bless it on Jasmine. Come on, Elder V. Come on, get some of this blessing. Don't let it slip, you see. Because what most people do, they want to get the hating on them. Why he get that? Why didn't I get it? But guess what, though? Elder V didn't realize if we stop and turn around, who's in front? They go that blessing. Hallelujah. See, who's in front? See, the blessing don't stop. Just because they had the blessing, we was chasing on his coattail. But as soon as you turn around, it's another person in front. You keep following, keep following, keep following. Just keep turning. That's all you got to do. You bask in the presence of God. You don't hate on your friend. No, no. What did you do to get that? I don't know what your praise was, but I'm going to be around. You'll be like mine. About to be done. Is this, is this helping anybody? Are you sure? Because I know I'm just up here running around. Thank you. See, you got to have a wife that'll come and help you out. You know what I'm saying? My beautiful wife, don't trip over your head, baby. But you know, you know, you, you, you got to really <clears throat> consider those things of old. As, just look at it as a safe net. Because guess what? You made it. You can't remember something if you didn't make it. You can't remember it. So if you if you grab and bask in, in humility, see, too many people want to be in front of the crowd, but nobody want to be the mop. Nobody want to be the mop in church. Everybody want to be who all up on the stage. Nah, 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 nah. Nah. God want the mop. He wants the people with a, with, a, with a heart of gold to serve. It don't care what you got to do. Oh, we got to move these cheers? Oh, but I sang on the praise team. Okay, so you, you, you don't want this blessing. You don't bask in humility. It don't matter. God want mops. He want the people that's going to say, I clean it up. Miss Carla's a mop. But guess what? She gets blessed. She gets blessed. She don't worry about when people say, oh, Miss Carla, this is a lot. She's blessed. I ain't never seen a per person get so many calls. Miss <laughs> Carla come up in here every week with a car. It might be a car on 24s. It might be a car on, on Super 10s. But guess what? She ain't walking. Can I get an amen, Miss Carla? Hey, she ain't walking. But I want to say, man, just, just, just to be so transparent, TJ and Earl, can we just give them a round of applause? You, you can get them. And the reason why I say that is because these, these, these fellas right here, TJ scared the mess out of me when he got shot. I ain't never cried so hard. Jesus Christ, boy. But I tell y'all, me, TJ, Earl, and Jasmine used to be on Mystic Court. Enjoy. I'm sorry, but you stay in all the jokes that I like. But when I tell y'all, when we had to figure out what we was going to eat, you would hear Earl say, I got 250. TJ would be like, I got a hot 125. Jazz would be like, well, I got $3. And I'd say, I got 75 cents. But we ate Papa John's pizza with an orange soda. But I say that because those are the things of old when they was living in the basement. When we was living in the basement, we all mops, but guess what now? We all got houses. Me and my wife got a house. Jazz got a house. See, Earl got a house. Guess what, we not talking about 150 and 250 no more. We talking about new things. We talking about what car you gonna drive today. We talking about the new things that God is revealing in our life. It don't matter where you start at. It's about where God taking you to. But when we think about those things, we can't. We sit at the table and we just remember and understand that we'll never go back. Because we always gonna say, okay, we knew what it felt like right there, but we gonna do this new thing. We gonna continue to come and give God what he deserves. No matter what our Saturday night look like, we here. 
See, God wants a servant heart. And I'm telling y'all right now, what's today, September 6th? It's winning season. Don't let this COVID-19 take you by surprise, depress you. Don't let it put you in no rut because tell your friend. Matter of fact, I'm gonna challenge y'all. When you see the next person come into your atmosphere today, tell them to take a picture of you. Save it. Because in 2021, the curtain is gonna shake and open up and all God gonna do Come on, y'all can stand up on y'all feet. Y'all can stand up on your feet. Snail, can you swivel that around and let get everybody? You can't? Okay, so listen. In 2021, God is going to open up this curtain, and he only going to say one word. It's showtime. And I want everybody up in here to lift your hands. That's two words, showtime. I thought you spelled it one. I'm sorry, I got, you know when your wife already won't be a teacher. I see what you be talking about that. But I need y'all to yell this right now. See, because what the devil want to do is shut your mouth. But see, God has already equipped everybody in here with tools. So when it's time to fight the devil, don't act like you ain't got no weapons. But your main weapon is on the bottom of your nose. So when I say on the count of three, two words, it's showtime. So in 2021, you got to feel confident in yourself. Feel like you, you're waiting on it. This new thing that we about to get. In 2021, when God opened up that curtain, we're going to say, one, two, three. Say it again. It's showtime, baby. Thank you all for uh, listening to me. I hope I bless the spirit. Um, come back next Tuesday. Brian going to give an awesome word. But listen, hold that in your spirit. Behold this new thing. And, and don't remember who you used to be. Because today you are made new. God bless you. We out.